Some games are so incredibly terrible, they make you scratch your head and wonder, who the hell thought this was a good idea? Dark Chambers is not one of those games. It's two parts Gauntlet, one part Zelda, and ten parts the best game I've ever played in my entire life. A recreation of Dandy, a D&D inspired game from 1983, Dark Chambers reinvented video games and holds strong as likely the pinnacle of the medium. To date, no game has combined solid mechanics, inviting graphics, and a homosexual protagonist into one perfect piece of software. Your character looks like Link from The Legend of Zelda and walks very gay. I was immediately impressed at their inclusivity. The goal is to go lower and lower into the depths of the world, literally from A to Z. We are never once told what will await us at the bottom. But that kind of elusive storytelling is what's lacking in games today. And I can't say enough about the graphics. True to its name, the chambers in the game are exceptionally dark, with little to illuminate the world around you other than colored walls, which impressively change with every floor. Just when I was getting used to gray walls, I dropped to a lower floor and now they are red. To say I was kept on my toes would be an understatement. The action is familiar to anybody who's played an action RPG, or more specifically, Gauntlet. Enemies either roam about innocently or spawn from destructible caves. They take on different forms, and shooting them with what I can only assume is a crossbow will reduce them to a lesser form until they eventually disappear. The combat is deceptively simple. You may be thinking, it can't be this easy. But keep playing, and eventually you will discover that the simplicity is actually the point. Watching enemies barely take notice of the crossbow-wielding terrorist murdering their fellow demon gives a sense of wonder to the game. What is their story? Watching them get stuck behind their spawn points is a metaphor of the futility of demonology. Once they have become cursed, they are doomed to be cursed for eternity, even within the limits of an Atari game. You might think that a game this ambitious might fail in some of its code, but fear not. Dark Chambers holds a steady two frames per second, not wavering even with five, nay, six enemies on screen at once. The game is a technological marvel on top of its already impressive pedigree. But it's the small details that make the game truly stand out. The expression of the main character, who remains nameless. What is he thinking? What could be running through his gay little head? If you're interested in a good soundtrack to accompany you on your journey, fear not. The musical arrangement here is a minimalistic treasure, eschewing traditional orchestration for a more toned-down focus on sound effects. It's a less is more approach that I think lends itself to a game of this caliber. And maybe that's the key to the whole thing. Less is more. In an industry filled with big budget games brimming with life, colors, music, stories, and basic originality, we forget what true gaming is all about. The silent meditation of delving into our subconscious to the end of the alphabet, and back. 
I give Dark Chambers for the Atari 7800 a 5 out of 7. Thank you.